What is a thermostat? How the thermostat works? Thermostat closed. Thermostat open. Symptoms of a bad thermostat. How the engine thermostat tested. Frequently asked questions. What is thermostat? A thermostat is the key component of the engine cooling system. The cooling system keeps the engine from overheating. The system is filled with liquid coolant, antifreeze, and is connected into a loop with a radiator. The coolant flows through the engine where it absorbs the heat and into the top of the radiator. A radiator is built of many flat aluminum tubes surrounded by fins. The air passing through the radiator cools down the coolant as it flows down the radiator. One or two electric fans attached to the back of the radiator turn on when needed to force more air through the radiator. A water pump pulls the coolant from the radiator and moves it back into the engine. The normal operating temperature of a modern engine is between 194 degrees Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius and 221 degrees Fahrenheit or 105 degrees Celsius. The job of a thermostat is to help the engine warm up faster and maintain the engine temperature above the minimum operating temperature, 194 degrees Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius. A conventional thermostat is a simple temperature-controlled two-way valve that opens at a specified temperature. In most cars, a thermostat is installed on the engine and is connected to the upper or lower radiator hose. How the thermostat works The thermostat in your car is a simple component as it simply opens or closes depending on the temperature of your coolant. A car thermostat features a specific wax designed to expand once a particular temperature is reached. Once heated to the correct temperature, the wax expands, and your thermostat opens to allow coolant to flow. If your coolant hasn't reached your vehicle's normal operating temperature, the thermostat will remain closed, preventing the coolant from traveling to the radiator. This allows the engine to heat up quickly for optimal performance. Once your coolant has reached optimal temperature, your thermostat will open up, allowing coolant to flow to the radiator and cool down before traveling back through your engine. Thermostat closed. When the engine is started cold, the thermostat, the main valve, is closed, there is no flow through the radiator. The smaller thermostat bypass valve is open and the coolant circulates only within the engine and through the vehicle heating system. This allows the engine warm up faster. Thermostat open. As the engine warms up closer to the operating temperature, the thermostat gradually opens up, allowing coolant flow through the radiator. In cold weather, if the engine temperature drops close to the lower limit of the operating range, 194 degrees Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius, the thermostat closes again. Symptoms of a bad thermostat. Engine overheating. Vehicle overheating is one of the major bad car thermostat symptoms that can cause fatal consequences. When the temperature of the engine reaches its normal operating temperature, the thermostat allows the engine to control the heat. What happens when a thermostat gets too hot? If the car thermostat is bad, it won't allow coolant from flowing into the engine, which ultimately causes the car to overheat. So when this happens one of the possible causes is a broken thermostat. Can you drive a car with a bad thermostat? If you continue to drive a vehicle in this condition, it increases the chances of damaging the engine in the long run. This is why it is important to keep an eye on signs that the vehicle thermostat is not working to avoid any danger during a drive. Fluctuating engine temperature a faulty thermostat will result in strange temperature changes during engine operation. In this case, the thermostat will not get stuck in one position, but there will still be false readings causing control issues. The engine temperature will change unpredictably and the radiator coolant will not flow normally. Poor engine performance A defective thermostat will affect your car's engine performance because the car's engine runs ideally at a certain temperature? between 90 degrees Celsius to 104 degrees Celsius. While overheating of the thermostat can degrade performance, low engine temperature can also impair your car's engine performance. Heater malfunction. Locking the thermostat in an open position is one of the reasons car heater not working. 
The coolant will constantly flow in the engine regardless of whether it is warm enough to need it. If you turn the car's heater on and the thermostat is open, cool air will constantly come out from the HVAC even if you raise the heater temperature. In other words, instead of getting too hot all the time, the engine has a problem with being too cold. Rumbling noises One of the notable symptoms of a stuck-open thermostat is that you start hearing rumbling noises from your vehicle. The noises may come from the vehicle's engine, radiator, or both. The noise can be heard as a boiling sound, gurgling sound, or knocking sound. Therefore, when you start hearing such noises or experiencing the above bad car thermostat symptoms, you most probably have a bad thermostat engine. Bad thermostat can be divided in two types. Thermostat stuck closed. Thermostat stuck open. Thermostat stuck closed. When the thermostat is stuck closed, the engine might overheat. Besides these two cases, the thermostat may also need to be replaced if the thermostat housing is leaking coolant. Thermostat stuck open. When the thermostat is stuck open, the engine temperature drops below normal when driving, especially on the highway in cold weather. A stuck open thermostat can also cause lack of heat from the heating system. The check engine light may come on too. How the engine thermostat tested. In old days, testing of the thermostat involved removing and heating it while submerged in water. At the temperature marked on the thermostat, it would start opening. In modern cars, the operation of the thermostat is monitored by the engine computer, PCM. In most cases, if a thermostat is stuck closed or open, the check engine light would come on. Most common check engine light codes related to a thermostat are P0128 and P0126. Mechanics test the thermostat by measuring the temperature of the upper and lower radiator hoses with an infrared thermometer, while monitoring the engine temperature with a scan tool. In this chart, the yellow line is the temperature of the engine, the red line is the temperature of the upper radiator hose and the blue line is the temperature of the lower radiator hose. When the engine is started cold, the upper hose warms up with the engine, but since there is no flow through the radiator, the lower radiator hose remains cold. The thermostat starts opening at about 185 degrees Fahrenheit 85 degrees Celsius. As the thermostat opens and coolant starts flowing through the radiator, the temperature of the lower radiator rises quickly close to the temperature of the upper hose. At about 204 degrees Fahrenheit 96 degrees Celsius, the radiator fan comes on and the temperature drops a few degrees. The thermostat in this car works properly. If a thermostat was stuck open, the lower radiator hose would start warming up as soon as the engine is started. If a thermostat was stuck closed, there would be no flow even after the engine reached the operating temperature, and the lower radiator hose would remain cool. Lack of flow through the radiator can be caused by many other reasons besides a stuck closed thermostat. If a thermostat is stuck closed, the engine might overheat, which can result in expensive repairs. If there is a suspicion that the thermostat is stuck closed, it's usually replaced. Frequently Asked Questions Can you drive with a bad thermostat? No, it's not recommended to drive your car with a bad thermostat. If your thermostat is malfunctioning, it could cause your engine to overheat, which could lead to serious engine damage. It's always best to get a faulty thermostat fixed as soon as possible, otherwise, you're risking some very costly repairs down the road. Can you run a car without a thermostat? Although you can drive a car without a thermostat, it is not recommended. If you remove the thermostat, your car will not reach operating temperature. This will cause a higher fuel consumption and wear your engine faster. Is it hard to change a car thermostat? Replacing a thermostat can be quite a tricky job for many people. Replacing the thermostat itself is often not that difficult, but properly bleeding the coolant system afterwards can be tricky. In some car models, it can be very difficult to reach the thermostat as well. Do I have to drain coolant when replacing the thermostat? Yes, in most car models, the thermostat is located at the bottom of the coolant system. So when you remove the thermostat, you have no choice, all the coolant in the engine drains by itself. 
Some car models have the thermostat placed quite high up and in this case it may be enough just to drain part of the coolant. Why does my car thermostat keep going bad? There can be many reasons that cause a failing car thermostat, including a bad water pump, loose water pump belt, leakage in the cooling system, collapsed radiator hose, and the clogged and failed radiator.